the film done after seven years. To finally see it uh, uh, being uh, premiered, I mean, uh, is really a great uh, relief because it's, it took seven years and it lasted until yesterday. So mm -hmm. it was really, really uh, kind of diff I mean, it wasn't an easy process, but uh, I think we uh, did it together. It would be impossible, actually, to do this film. Uh, uh, each of us on our own would never succeed. But we also had this wonderful producer, Lisa Lansen Oller, who supported us from the very beginning, you know, and uh, also this wonderful institution, Danish Film Institute, that does uh, stories like this, you know. Not many uh, support stories of this kind. And uh, also HBO, uh, and later, and uh, uh, I mean, it's it's a it's a it's good to be uh, at the end of this journey, you know. So, to say the story and to 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 present this, this story to you because uh, you know Zense is a you can't even pronounce its name, which is normal, you know. Like who knows about Zense and all Zense is not found like from. Marquez novels, like some forgotten community that, uh, you know, uh, nobody can reach or know about. So for us, it's an extreme, extreme, like, satisfaction that we managed to tell the story of this forgotten community. And there are many forgotten communities in the world. who suffer, but they are afraid. They are afraid to act. They are afraid that their families will lose their jobs because they were, they were exposed to the narrative, if you push too hard, then the car of corporation will leave, then you will be jobless, so you have to suffer. And we spent, I think, 15 years in convincing people that this is not the truth. You can have both the uh, labor, both the working uh, salaries, jobs, just like they have in the entire world, you can, you can also have the cleaner air. It, it cannot be perfectly clear, it's not the mountain, but it can uh, surely be much better than the one we have. Then we have another stakeholder is the authorities. You could see the mayor, you could see their officials from the, from the city, you could see the federal ministry. And then uh, you have the corporation and you have the bank I will, I will talk about the bank, maybe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as I said, the, the locals are the key stakeholders, <coughs> but the bank is struggling to, <laughs> to, to take, the, take the part. And in all this, you are struggling. It, it seems like you and your husband are running your head against the wall quite some times. Um, and it's because of the lack of action from the authorities and uh, the, system, the system from the systems from Asura uh, Mitten. So how how do you manage to um, sustain your work ethics and I mean motivation uh, together with your uh, husband? Yes, and then we'll do a translation. Of course. <coughs> Uh, Ida says that we shouldn't forget uh, uh, people from uh, Teto district, uh, all those uh, protagonists uh, who are actually uh, exposed and who suffer from uh, the activities of uh, you know, industry uh, and global uh, corporations and global finances. Uh, uh, those are Edita, Alma, uh, Del Sandau, uh, and all those people you've seen. So what continues to drive you forward? 
um, in the work. Samir, Samir. Ja dolazim iz Bosni i Hercegovine. Ona je četiri godine bila u ratu. I nakon te četiri godine mi smo se nadali na nečem bodu. Došao je velika korporacija, svjetska, i mislili smo da će se ponašati prema nama kako treba. Međutim, nije. I onda je to vjerovatno neka srčba i bijes. Ja vam mislim da je to. Mi smo otišli, kao što su mnogi naši prijatelji otišli, ovdje je Saša koji je otišao, žao mi je što je otišao. Mnogi naši prijatelji su napustili našu lijepu zemlju. I sada korporacije polako napadaju našu zemlju. Ida sad, when the war in Bosnia finished, people expected something better. The democracy arrived and we did international investments and we thought that things will get better. But actually, uh, as you can see in this film, things didn't get better. Uh, it seems that, oh, uh, I'm trying to, I was going down, so <laughs> you might want that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, because I'm, I'm also angry, like Ida, Ida is angry, you know, Ida said she's angry because of all that, you know, and we all are very much angry about it, you know, because uh, we had to uh, turn our, uh, our lives upside down, uh, uh, leave the country, many of us, for those people to come there and, you know, uh, 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 pretending to do something good for us, but uh, uh, as you can see, uh, the reality is something else in this case. Yeah. <laughs> and Samia, I read also an article with you that is much more powerful than the state. But how did we come this far? I mean, why are the authorities um, intervening effectively uh, in addressing environmental protection? It's the matter of, it's the matter of power balance. <laughs> so the corporation, uh, the annual budget of the corporation is 20 times bigger than the budget of our country. So they are, they are simply more powerful. And they can come and ask whatever they want. So you can imagine our politicians when they, when, when the corporation, when the investment comes and say you should do this, you should do that, they just obey, they just nod their heads, and this is what they do. Sometimes they are right, sometimes they are just incompetent. They are in a position that they shouldn't be. Uh, but the balance of power is the key. And you see from the movement uh, and from our actions, it, it took us years to, to realize that. So we, we tried a really different kinds of activism. We had protests. The Guardian article described our protest. It was driven by our protest in 2012. Uh, the protest uh, brought the attention of media, but nothing happened. Then we started some legal cases. So we put criminal charges, started uh, some court cases. Then the government started to listen to us and taking us seriously. But the company never. The only, uh, uh, the only action that really disturbed the company was when we acted towards the banks, because the banks are only problem, uh, only subject more powerful than the corporation. So things started to change only when we turned to the banks. And before we end this conversation, fight against the corporate corruption, uh, you have to find the ally which is more powerful than the corporation. So the allies are media. The allies are movies like this. So I expect really this movie. To, uh, at least to help uh, to change things. So I, I would really like, uh, like to express my deepest gratitude uh, to Zlatko, Nana, Lisa, and all the people that, that participated in this, because I expect this movie to be a starting point for something new. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, import it's important to uh, turn to the banks, it's important to talk to the mate, but it's it's also important uh, if you want to fight against a corporation, 
Uh, you cannot do it on your domestic ground. We are too. We are. Uh, we are not powerful enough. We have to go internationally, and this is the perfect opportunity to go internationally. This is one of the key goals of Ecoforum as organization. Uh, uh, when we were established 15 years ago, one of the goals was uh, to internationalize the problem, and I think this helps a lot. And this is Sorry, true story from the because when you finance a film, you very often do a lot of pre sales to television stations beforehand, and then you use the money to make the film. I was unable to make pre sales to Western European TV stations because I met all the time the point of view, but we are the good ones. Mm. What is this? What is this film? We are the good ones. We help, we come with money. And I think that it's super important that that also Western European audiences understand their own core responsibility. The European Bank of Research and Development is, is funded by taxpayer money. Mm -hmm. And now this the Senate has become a green city, which is like uh, just an image, <laughs> <laughs> right? So, Greenwashing. Yeah, Greenwashing. exactly. So I think that it's, it's super important that we also become aware of how money is used and what kind of um, structures they are trying to uphold. Sorry, I couldn't get it. I am very much in empathy from the people who will see it. The situation is really going through our city. And people, ordinary people, ordinary families, that's it. Uh, hopes for uh, empathy and uh, uh, understanding of, of uh, what uh, communities like Zenza are going through, but a lot of uh, there are many communities, uh, hidden communities, yeah. and hidden, hidden activities all over the world, mm -hmm. which is called, somebody said from the audience, greenwashing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, there is a lot of greenwashing uh, going on in the world. And we are dangerously uh, uh, falling into an abyss, uh, simply believing in, in, in some uh, spins and narratives. We have to get out of our comfort zone and start asking questions. Thank you very much. In fact, you also have to find me now. You have to find me now because. That was my final. <laughs> In the, in the okay. film, we have the, the test results uh, from yeah. about the public health. We don't know what's uh, we don't know the results yet. Uh, yes, but but are you optimistic regarding the future of uh, Simca? I mean, will the city move towards a greener future? You think? Uh, this is uh, a so, so typical question that those uh, uh, corporate people always ask and answer. Yes, I am. I'm not actually. I serious. I'm not. I'm. I'm optimistic about. Uh, you know, Sami and, and all those people who who work out that, that they will uh, start the conversation. But to change things, you know, uh, as you can see from this film, uh, it's time consuming. We need a lot of time to change things. And we don't have time. So how can I be optimistic when we all know that we don't have much time to, to change things? We didn't even start it. Mm. So I don't know what to say. Uh, <laughs> Samia, yeah, you, you will have the final, final remark. Uh, don't, don't, uh, don't be pessimistic. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because this is what drives us all these years. Uh, I remember this morning that some uh, how much twelve years ago almost when we had uh, these protests, huge protests, thousands of people in the streets, and we pre and we prepared. Uh, a banner. The banner said, "We survived the war. We will survive you as well." Yeah. And, we will. Yeah. and this is optimistic. We will survive because uh, we went through a lot of bad situations, uh, a lot of uh, pressure, uh, different empires attacking, 
and now the modern empires, the corporations are also attacking, and uh, there is another ongoing story, which is not mentioned here at all. We have uh, now invasion of the uh, more corporation that, uh, that want to start uh, mining operations in Bosnia. And our nature is under attack. So this is the struggle that will never end. And we have to convince people you shouldn't uh, give up. So don't be pessimistic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And uh, I want to thank you all for taking part in this conversation. And uh, I wish you all the best with the, the distribution of the sky above the Zinnica. And also, it's a cinematic life on Copenhagen Box. Um, and looking forward, I hope that many other people will, will watch uh, the film and get to know about the situation in Zinnica um, and the Zinnica case to be able to prevent it from happening elsewhere around the world. So, thank you all for uh, your time. And remarkable work, and please give a round of applause to the speakers.